Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this spectacular show. You won't believe how easy it is. I create this show with only making these beautiful crannies that I will call them sunflowers cranny. I chose first this color and then I made the combination. I had this material that I have left from previous project so I decided to use it and to combine with other colors and create this show. I will show you the step by step but before I want to invite all of you to subscribe to give me a like to activate the notification bell and of course to leave me a comment and share this video if you like it. Remember that first I will give you the material list and then the step by step. Thank you so much also for clicking this video. Now let's start. Well we are going to use 400 grams of this material that is between light and medium weight yarn. Look, I will use this combination and I will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters. Okay, so as you could see, I will make it in shades of blue and purple. Well, so we are going to create a shawl with these sunflowers. Okay, I will use this color as my base and then I will use different colors that combine with this color. I will start right from the center. We will use one thread and with our hook I will use this bright blue. So we will start right here. We will make first one, two, three, four, five chains. Then we will close in circle. We are going to slip one to close. We will go up with one chain and after this chain we will start counting 12 single crochet inside. So here we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We are going to try to fix and to move all these stitches so we can make a space and like this we can have 12 right here in the center once you have 12 we are going to slip one to close well as you could see we crochet over this thread so at the end you just can cut it and use a lighter to burn the tips now that we are here we will go up with 30 chains okay i suggest that you crochet a bit loose that you relax if you feel that you crochet too tight We'll change the number of your hook for a bigger number, okay? So like this, we are going to continue making until we have 30 chains, okay? We will see and we will check that we don't twist them. So now that we are sure, we will insert the hook right next to it. We are going to make a single crochet. So this will be like the first battle. And we are going to continue making 30 and then single crochet next to it. At the end we must have 12 petals, okay? And the secret here is that you crochet all these petals with the same distance, okay? With 30 chains, they must look the same, okay? At the end we will have 12 and see you there until we finish. Well, I suggest that before you finish and before you close uh, the row, you check the number of petals that you have. Remember that at the end we must have 12 and each one of it must have 30 chains, okay? And they must look at the same distance, okay? Because sometimes some of them may look shorter or longer. So try that they all look the same. And remember that these old small details matter. So here I'm missing one, so I have 11. I will make 30 chains, and this will be the petal number 12. Okay, so please always make sure because then you continue and continue and continue, and then you realize 
uh, some of your of your flowers they didn't look good so it's better that you check since the beginning that everything is correct and then you can continue that's my secret and that's what I always suggest to do so well now I have 30 chains and I will insert the hook right here in this space and we will make a single crochet okay so now that we are short and that we count now we are going to continue with the next stitch but the next stitch I want to start it right here so I will slip one until I arrive right there like this we will avoid to cut and to make an extra cut and then to have extra loose threads to hide okay so that's uh, this is more secrets and tricks are the one that I like to share with all of you I know that there there exist other way but I like to do it like this because I don't like to have too many knots and thread, loose threads in my projects so I try to avoid them <laughs> so okay we are going to count 13 and we are going to sleep one until we arrive here because right here we are going to make a shell this one the one that we have here I will make a single crochet because I want to start right here inside so we are going to change the direction of the stitch okay then we will go up with three chains next to it we are going to make a second double crochet then two chains and again inside two double crochet together so this will be the shells like this we are going to make one over each a uh, petal but between petals we are going to make three chains so now we are going to take the tip and insert the hook right there right in the top of this next flower and sorry of this next petal and right there we are going to make again the shell two double crochet two chains and then two double crochet and between petals remember that we are going to make three chains and well here it is important because it might happen that we are uh, taking some petals in the back we are holding with our fingers and we don't realize of that I'm telling you this because it happened to me because I was like just enjoying my my pride my flowers and I didn't realize that I was holding some petals back so please always check that you go in order and that you are not missing any petal remember that at the end we must have 12 okay so count and see that you don't have any petal behind and go in order well please count that at the end of the row you have 12 petals please count them and also 12 shells of course we will finish with three chains and we are going to slip one to close once you are sure we are ready to continue with the next stitch for this we are going to slip one until we arrive here to the center we will go up with three chains and we will continue making shell over shell so this means two double crochet two chains and two double crochet well so we are going to continue making shell over shell okay then we are going to make three chains but instead of just making the three chains and that's it we are going to make three chains single crochet right here in the middle of this strip of chains that we made and then again three chains and we will go to the next uh, shell and make shell over shell so as you could see here between shells we are going to make these two arches okay in the middle we are going to make a single crochet and like this we are going to continue the whole row so at the end we must have 12 well at the end we will have something like this we will finish with three chains and we are going to slip one to close now again we are going to continue making shell over shell but it will change what we are going to make between shells so we will start the same making two double crochet two chains and two double crochet okay so far we have three rows making shells over shells so we are going to make one two 
three, four, five. And we are going to take all these stitches together, the ones that we made in previous rows, and we are going to make a single crochet. Again, five chains, and we will continue making shells over shells. So as you could see, like we, in this row, we kind of join all the um, joints that we made before. You see how it looks so pretty. And this will be the last row of this sunflower. In my case, like I already get ahead, I made more sunflowers and I have them complete. I like to join while we crochet. So like this, as I told you, we can avoid to have um, loose threads to make more knots and to make extra steps. So here I will make five chains. I will uh, make the join. Then five chains again, I will make a double crochet, then the second double crochet and just the half of it. Like this, I will um, join with the other sewn flower. I will make only one chain out of the two and I will insert the hook right here on the middle of this um, shell of the first sunflower that I made I will make one chain to complete the stitch remember that that's the secret while we join we are going to complete the next uh, sunflower so we are going to come back make again five chains make here the uh, joining again five chains we are going to make again just a half of this shell to double crochet one chains and again in the next shell of the first sunflower we are going to slip one then one chain and then come back to this second sunflower to complete the stitch well and with this same technique we are going to join the next um, some flowers that we have. In my case I want to make a triangle shawl. So for the base I will put seven sunflowers like this then I will fix to put one here in the middle and according to the shape and to the triangle then I will put six then five then four like this until I finish the triangle and we are going to join the same way like we are making right here in the last using the last row to join okay so con let's continue well look i did get ahead i made many sunflowers i followed this combination it it's in shades of purple and blue you see so as i told you i put seven as my base then like i'm making a triangle show I keep with the shape of the triangle, then I put six, five, four, and well here as you could see three, four, five, six, okay, and then I put six on flowers, five, four, and I finished with three. I will stop right here, I won't close the shape of the triangle because if not it will be too big so I will just leave it like this but you can create the shape that you want with these sunflowers and it's important that you check that each sunflower will be joined two by two and in this case like the one that I have in the middle I join one two three four five six sides but two by two always like this and the secret here is that you put attention where you are going to place the next some flowers and how you are going to join them. If you follow this tip that I told you to join always two by two, you will figure it out, okay? And you will get the shape that you want. In this case, I made a triangle shawl, but you can make the shape that you want. Maybe you can use these some flowers to make a blouse or to make a poncho or to make a vest, okay? A sweater or like you want. So, in this case I'm showing you this technique so now we are going to continue with the rest please hide all the threads that you may have and it for you it's difficult to crochet and join at the same time well you can make all of them 
probably see the shape that you want to follow and then so okay to me it's to make extra steps and I don't like it but it's up to you okay I just want to I share my tips and you will choose which is easier for you okay like you and it's it's perfectly okay once that we get the shape that we want we are going to continue with the rest in my case I will decorate all around this shawl making a different stitch well, in this case, I want to show you something different, a different stitch and a different edge that we have been making. We are going to respect the triangles of the zone flowers. So I want to keep with the shape and everything. We are just going to, uh, in each end of the triangle, we are going to make um, this strip with a popcorn. Okay, so we are going to uh use the color that you want in this case as i told you i'm following these shades of blue and purple and green so i will use this bright uh, blue so i will sleep until here and i will start right here in the triangle i will make 15 uh, chains 14 and 15 we will turn over and we will count four and right here in the fourth chain we will make a double crochet right there inside we are going to make two three four and five five double crochet inside this space and we are counting the first chains that we made we will have six double crochet okay so it's important that you also count how many you have in each popcorn so you can make all the same we are going to take the hook out and we will insert it in the first stitch and we will close making one a slipping one and then making one chain then we are going to a slip one at the beginning of the popcorn to close more and to create more the shape right you see and then we are going to come back a slipping one to make the cord round so this will be the stitch for the edge it's different it looks so modern and different I think that the stitch and the sunflowers by it owns are beautiful so I just wanted to make something simple but modern too and different something that I haven't taught you in previous videos so like this we are going to come back a slipping one in each chain before when i was younger and i gave classes and i teach how to crochet i have many students that ask me how i made this cord because it's that different effect but as you could see here we are just going to slip one and we will create this round cord and it looks so beautiful well we are going to make this cord and this popcorn in each triangle of the sunflower all around but first we have to slip one until we arrive to the next triangle and right there we are going to repeat this we are going to make this cord and the popcorn like this and well here I just make a review with all of you and um, just one small secret here put a stitch right here just to divide okay where we finish and where we start and like this we are going to continue so this is basically what I made all around my shawl and as I told you uh, I was thinking that with this you can make a blouse you can put uh, to according obviously to the size but you can put and also of the long of the flower that you want uh, oh sorry of the of the blouse that you want so you can put four uh, circles or for some flowers in front four in the back and then two more for the sleeves and like you want I think that also for a poncho it will be a nice idea so now 
With this tutorial you learn how to make a new stitch, how to make a shawl if you want to, or you can use the sunflowers to make something else. And also I taught you how you can make this different um, stitch for the edge. It's so different and modern. So remember that here we made 15 chains and then we came back in the fourth stitch, in the fourth uh, chain, to make the popcorn. And then five double crochet inside the same place. And then we took the hook out and then we made the popcorn. I have to cut because actually today I'm also cleaning so I know that probably you listen some noises behind and I'm sorry but you know that we all make and especially women we make many things at the same time <laughs> and so this is the case too so while we are making this beautiful show I'm also doing the laundry okay so here I'm just making a review, I'm just teaching you how you can make this and this is the uh, steps that we are going to make. Also I will put this stitch in the top of my shawl too and all around. So this is basically it, what I will make. I suggest that at the end uh, it will look so much better if you iron it. Be careful you have to extend all the sunflowers perfectly like you want them to look because the first time that we iron it's the most important because once you iron it for the first time and like that and you put the sunflowers like that they will last and they will look like this forever so i suggest that you use some pins too and that you extend and you place all the some flowers like you want them to be well now that we are here here we have this joint in this joint too i will put this cord with the popcorn okay uh, as i told you use a protection use a fabric humic fabric and then pass the iron very soft and gently through all these some flowers well look here I finish I put this stitch all around also in the top too I love the result I love the colors as I told you at the beginning I used some material that I have left from previous projects so I made this combination and you can make the combination that you want as I told you I hide all the threads that I have loose all of them remember that it's very important that we hide them with embroidery needle and then we iron the tips like this your project would last forever also i iron it sometimes i use a towel on there and then i put this i use some pins and then i put some humid fabrics and then i iron and well this is the result i love it and i love also that you stood with me until the end of the video Thank you so much for watching. Remember that if you like this video, share it, leave me a comment and subscribe. Remember that it's completely free and it will really help me. Thank you so much. Bye bye.